Orson Hyde is feeling nervous. He was asked to be the teacher for the School of the Prophets and to teach religion, scriptures, history, geology, geography, science, and government all by faith. Sure, he's naturally super smart, but he still sees himself as an orphan who'd always wanted more education. Now he's to be the teacher? Wait a second, we're getting ahead of ourselves. First, what is the School of Prophets? And why are they studying geography and science? Now, Orson Hyde lost both of his parents early in life and didn't have many opportunities for schooling. Eventually, he made his way from Connecticut to Kirtland, where he found work at Newell K. Whitney's store. There, he first heard about the Book of Mormon, but after reading a portion of it, declared, fiction, and put it down. However, the spirit enlightened his mind and he picked it back up to investigate. As he read, he was filled with the light of Christ becoming fully convinced of its truthfulness, and was baptized. And only a few days later, he left on the first of 13 missions. How would you like to serve that many? Gifted with learning languages, he served abroad, including in Europe and the Holy Land. In fact, in January of 1832, the prophet Joseph Smith gave Orson a blessing with the unusual prophecy, in due time thou shalt go to Jerusalem to prepare the way and greatly facilitate the gathering of that people. Nine years later, he was called on a mission to Jerusalem and dedicated the Holy Land for the returning of the Jews. At a conference in Kirtland in December 1832, the prophet started by asking the small group of elders to kneel down and pray separately and vocally for the Lord's light concerning the building up of Zion. After a painfully long time on their knees, a revelation opened to Joseph. He called it the olive leaf, or the Lord's message of peace to us. It's a beautiful message that contrasted with the heartfelt turmoil he'd felt just days earlier from Section 87's prophecy about the Civil War. In Section 88, the Lord greatly emphasizes the importance of light and learning. As all have not faith, seek ye diligently out of the best books words of wisdom. Seek learning, even by study and also by faith. Therefore, they were counseled to begin a school of the prophets. And so, for the first time, the church began formal educational and spiritual instruction with 18 elders meeting daily in the upstairs room of the Whitney store with meetings, discussions, learning, and remarkable spiritual experiences. And following the Lord's counsel, they studied everything, and I mean everything, including math, geography, science, and Hebrew. This focus on study and faith took hold, eventually leading Parley P. Pratt to start another school of the prophets in Missouri. Yes, the Lord wants intelligent Zion builders using their light, knowledge, and faith. And the church is all about faith-filled learning with seminaries, institutes, universities, and the super home-focused Come Follow Me curriculum, which is probably why you're watching this video. Why does the Lord encourage this? Because knowledge plus faith builds testimonies. The School of the Prophets was a sacred place for the elders. There, they learned to put on the full armor of God by emulating the Savior, serving one another, and remaining clean from the sins of the world. This helped to prepare them for missionary service, and, more importantly, for a promised endowment of power that would later come in the temple. Temple? Oh yeah, Section 88 also contains an amazing surprise for the early saints as the Lord told them to establish a house of prayer, a house of glory, a house of God. In other words, build a temple in Kirtland. Really? They'd only known about a future temple in Zion, but now sang and shouted with the armies of heaven that there'd also be one in Kirtland. Yes, the Spirit of God, like a fire, was starting to burn. Speaking of firelight, when you go camping, do you pack a flashlight to help you see in the dark? Of course. But do you also pack a flash dark? Something to take away the light? Uh. No, that doesn't even make sense. Well, Section 88 teaches, Christ is the light of truth. His light shines in darkness and gives light and knowledge to all things. Satan, on the other hand, can only cast shadows on our faith. He can't take away the light unless we let him. Christ, however, can shine his light on our soul at any time, even when we're in darkness. We experience his light through obedience. 
You know, maybe commandments should be called enablements because it's through obeying them that we're enabled to receive more light, intelligence, and ultimately celestial happiness. Okay, while Orson Hyde's teaching in the School of the Prophets is great, they have a smelly problem. We'll learn what it was next time. It takes a lot to make these videos, so to keep Line Upon Line free for everyone, consider donating. The link's in the description below. And thanks for watching. This episode is packed with info, so you might want to watch it again to make sure you didn't miss anything, including the hilarious jokes. If you feel this video has helped you on your path towards truth and Christian discipleship, please subscribe and share. Most importantly, go read the scriptures for yourself.